Hey folks, it's Steve with Prima. Uh, I'm gonna show you real quick how to take apart your Kinu hand grinder. They're all basically built the same way, so the steps are pretty much uh, exactly the same no matter what model you have. Um, and you might wanna take it apart regularly just to kind of clean it out, um, but especially if you are swapping burrs, now that there are multiple burr sets available, this is how you're gonna take it apart. So first, we're gonna take off our grinds catch. The second thing we're gonna do is just undo this thumb screw at the very top. Um, unscrew it all the way. It's a normal thread, so you just unscrew it counterclockwise. We're gonna take that out. We're gonna take our handle off as well as this little uh, nut, so just kind of keep them together. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put, uh, put my finger on the bottom of the burr just to hold it in place, and then I'm going to unscrew my adjustment wheel uh, like so, completely off. And again, this is also standard threaded, so just rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise until it completely comes off. And now the drive shaft is free to come loose and it will just pull straight out the bottom. There's a little bit of a tight fit, so just kind of be careful and try to keep it as straight as possible. Now we have the drive shaft and the center burr out, so for cleaning purposes, that's really all I need to do. I have access to wiping grinds off the burr here. I can get grinds off the, the uh, ring burr as well. This is actually press fit in place, so um, it's not necessary to try to take it out. If there's something wrong with it, you should probably contact us or contact Kinu about warranty support, um, but it should be firmly pressed into place. Um, everything else on the inside, you know, it's fairly accessible. If you have a long sort of soft brush or a pipe cleaner or something like that, that's probably the best way to get into all the nooks and crannies and brush things away. A little bit of compressed air wouldn't hurt. We don't recommend using canned air dusters because they can have a bitterant that's there to prevent people from trying to inhale it. Um, and if that bitterant gets in your coffee, it can really mess up the flavor. It's not necessarily harmful, it's just really bad for flavor. Um, but overall, that's a pretty simple take apart. Um, should take you only a few seconds to a couple minutes. If you do want to swap the burr, you can take this spring off the drive shaft and then slide the burr right out. You'll notice that the burr carrier has this one little pin and then there's three holes corresponding on the cone burr itself. So all you have to do with replacing a burr is put it into place and make sure that pin meets the hole, put the spring back on, and then we can reassemble by pushing the drive shaft up through our bearings straight in and then kind of going in, going in reverse. We'll put our adjustment wheel back on and you can screw it all the way down. You don't necessarily have to, just screw it down enough. Um, when we go to put this little nut back on, it's actually asymmetrical. There's one sort of short edge and one long edge that corresponds to the center of the, of the drive shaft on top. So all you have to do is align that shape. It's sort of D-shaped. You'll align that, push it back on, and then we take the thumb screw and make sure that the hole in the handle is actually aligned. Uh, insert that all the way in and then screw the thumb screw all the way back on. And then finally, once that's tight, you can put your grind catch back in place. And that is disassembling and reassembling a key new hand grinder. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you want to see more content like this, please like and subscribe. We post videos about product overviews and comparisons and all sorts of educational content. And as always, if you want to see more, please come visit us at primacoffee.com. Catch you next time.